Hey, we are so excited to hang out with you. We sure are. Today we're on week three of our series called A Day of the Museum. I love this series. Not only are we learning new fun facts about museums, but we're going through all the five senses. Friends, do you remember all the five senses? You do. What are they? You got it! Smell, hear, taste, feel, and see! Which one are we focusing on today, Jay? Only my favorite one. Taste! Oh yay! That is, oh, I love taste. Yes, it's amazing, but do you know of any museums that involve tasting? I sure don't. Mmm, that's a good thought, Jay. I actually don't. <sighs> I know. What if we made our own taste museum? A taste museum? Yes, yes, yes. It could be called Jade's Tasty Treats. A museum. Hmm. Would it basically just be uh, people walking around tasting food and calling it a museum? Uh, yep, basically. <laughs> well, sounds fun to me. Okay, let's start planning right now. I already have a million ideas running through my head. Brownies, popcorn, cake. Whoa, 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 whoa Jade. <laughs> Before we get too into this taste museum idea, let's move on to the next part of our day with our friends. Worshipping Jesus. Oh, yes, worshipping Jesus. Okay, I can put this whole idea on the back burner and move on to something else. Something way more important, by the way. I just love worshipping Jesus so much. So do I. Jade, do you want to show our friends all the different ways we can worship him? Yes, I sure do. We can sing, we can clap our hands, we can raise our hands, and we can have a super cool, awesome dance party. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just love all the ways we can worship Jesus. All right, friends, let's all stand up and worship Jesus together. ever worshiping Jesus. Yes. Hey Jade, I have an idea for your taste <gasps> museum. You do? Tell me, tell me. Well, it's pretty awesome. Can I get a drum roll, please? My idea is a jello museum. <gasps> a jello museum. I love jello. So do I. I mean, think about it. You could have jello chairs and jello walls and jello pictures. Sculptures made out of jello. And the best part, a jello cafeteria. <gasps> where you serve every flavor of jello. Sessie, this idea is genius. Friends, raise your hand if you'd come to my jello museum. Wow, that's a lot of hands. Why don't we test taste jello right now? <gasps> Might as well. I mean, yeah. we should get the ball rolling on this. I want this jello museum up and running as soon as possible. Okay, yeah, I'm always in the mood for jello. I mean, yeah. Yay! Okay, friends, let's snap in some jello so we can see which flavors we want to have in our museum. Yes, let's get our snapping fingers warmed up. 
Ready? Yep, one, two, three. Wow, look at all these flavors. Ceci, let's play a game where we try and guess the flavor of the Jello. Ooh, I love games, okay. <laughs> Friends, you can help us out by guessing what flavor you think the Jello will be. Okay, let's start with the green one. Okay. Hmm. I think it's going to taste like green apple. Hmm, okay, good guess. I'm gonna guess lime. Friends, what flavor do you think it is? Well, let's see it for ourselves. Okay. You were right. It's lime. Oh, <laughs> yes! Yum, I love lime. Okay, let's try the orange one now. I think that it's gonna taste like an orange. Mm -mm. I think it's gonna taste like carrots. Carrot jello? <laughs> Wait, is that a thing? Well, I'm not sure, but <laughs> at the jelly museum it can be. <laughs> okay, true, true. Friends, do you think it's orange or carrot flavored? Well, let's see. Mmm, <laughs> it's orange. <laughs> Yum. Okay, the last one. The red jello. Red is my favorite color. I think this one is gonna taste like strawberries. I think it's gonna taste like uh, a raspberry flavor. <gasps> okay, okay, well, let's try it and see. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think it's both raspberry and strawberry. A, a sweet red berry flavor. All the berries that are red. Oh wow, that sounds good. Let me try it. I wanna make sure you're saying the right thing. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, this is the best one. <laughs> we should do most of the museum the red berry flavor. <gasps> I agree. Well, Ceci, before we get too far into planning, we should watch our Bible story. <laughs> yes, I love Bible story time. Same, I'll bring it in. It's time for today's Bible story. One day, Jesus was at a wedding with all his friends. Jesus' mom was also there. Everyone was having a great time until something happened. <gasps> they had a special drink to celebrate the wedding and it was all gone. They ran out. Oh, Jesus' mom went to Jesus and asked if he could do anything to fix the problem. Then his mother told everyone to do exactly as Jesus tells them to do. Jesus filled six jars with regular old water, then told them to give that to the wedding guests. The people were probably very confused, but when the guests drank it, they were so happy. Wow! It was delicious. Jesus had taken plain water and turned it into a special celebration drink. And it was even more delicious than what they had before. Everyone was amazed and very thankful. The celebration could go on because of what Jesus had done. They learned that day that Jesus gives us a taste of God's power. Welcome back, friends. I just loved our Bible story today. Me too. I'm sure everyone was shocked when they tasted the water and realized it was not water, but a special celebration drink. I'm sure they were. Jesus gives us a taste of God's power. It makes me think, if Jesus can turn water into something else, what else can he do? Well, anything. Jesus is all powerful. And he sure gave the people a taste of God's power that day. He really did. <laughs> Speaking of power, do you want to know something really powerful? Of course I do. What is it? Reading our Bibles. Reading our Bibles equips us. I know whenever I read my Bible, I can feel the power of God. The Bible is a living word. There's nothing more powerful than that. There sure isn't. Hey, that reminds me. We should move on to our memory verse of the week. Yes, let's do it. All right, friends, let's do this week's memory verse. We're going to say it through two times. Are you ready? Yay! I'll say it through the first time, and then Jade will say it the second time. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29, 13. I love it! Great job, friends. Let's do it one more time now. You will seek me 
and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29, 13. Wow, you all did such an awesome job. Hi friends, Ceci and I love going through the memory verse with you. We sure did. Also, guess what? What? I have a fun game for our friends to play that includes the memory verse. You do? <laughs> yes. <laughs> friends, in your classrooms, you'll see this sheet of paper. Each word of the Bible verse is in its own circle. This game is called Taste the Memory Verse. Mm -hmm. Whatever snack you have today, put one piece in each circle. So if you have fruit snacks, put one fruit snack in each circle. Then pick it up and eat the fruit snack and say the word that's in the circle. You can do this until you've said the entire memory verse. Wow, what a fun way to do snack time, Jane. Isn't it? <laughs> well, friends, that's all we have time for today. We hope you have so much fun tasting your memory verse. Have a great week, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.